Hey guys, welcome back to the series of uh, case-based scenarios. This is Dr. Janvi and in this video we are going to see about mid-palatal suture maturation from the subject orthodontics. So let's just look at a clinical scenario now. A father bought his four sons for dental checkup. On examination, all had class 3 skeletal pattern with constricted maxilla. Okay, so but the father will explain that expansion will be effective only in one of the children. So why is that so? The mid palatal suture will be open at which of the following stages of expansion? The options given are a 33 year old, 13 year old, 43 year old or a 23 year old. So to arrive for an answer to this question, we need to know about this mid palatal suture a bit and uh, uh, the characteristics of it and how the, the age uh, till which it remains open so that we can intervene um, uh, any treatment uh, do any treatment orthodontically and all so let's just see what it is in the next slides so mid palatal suture ex maturation so as you can see you all know what is a mid palatal suture right it does nothing but a suture in the middle of the palate which connects the right and left palatal bones so a cone beam computed tomography is used to define the radiographic stages of mid palatal suture maturation. Okay, so there are five stages. The stage A is a straight high density suture line with little or no interdigitation. So as you can see in this image, uh, this is stage A. So this is a straight high density suture line as you can appreciate with no or little interdigitation. Interdigitation is nothing but with without any gaps. Okay. Then coming to stage B. So it is a scalloped appearance of the high density sutural line. So as you can see, there is the appearance of the sutural line is scalloped here. Scalloped is nothing but it is uh, appearing like this. Right. Then coming to stage C, there are two parallel scalloped high density lines that were close to each other separated in some areas by small low density spaces so in this uh, image you can see two sutures can you appreciate that so this is one hmm? and this is the second one right okay so the uh, suture uh, the lines are very scalloped but they are of high density, but they are very close to each other. But at uh, sometimes they are separated like this. Okay. Then coming to stage D fusion completed in the palatine bone with no evidence of a suture. As you can see in the image, there is no evidence that there is a suture, but there is a faint evidence, but it is not much visible. Okay. And coming to stage E fusion anteriorly in the maxilla so as you can see there is no suture at all okay so these are the different uh, radiographic stages of mid palatal suture maturation okay so what is rapid maxillary expansion so a rapid maxillary expansion is a orthodontic practice which is used for correction of posterior crossbite and as well as dental crowding so what it does is it um, facilitates the correction of angles class 2 and class 3 malocclusions with the overall objective to widen the maxilla by separating the mid palatal suture and the circummaxillary sutural system so this is what is rapid maxillary expansion so in this we use mid palatal suture for expansion so as to correct certain dental anomalies and as well as Circummaxillary sutural system is nothing but the other sutures which are present over the maxillary bone like the sutures which connect to the zygomatic bone and all. So these uh, they take help of these sutures also to achieve the expansion of the maxilla so as to correct a few dental anomalies like posterior crossbite, crowding, angles class 2 and class 3 malocclusions and all. Okay. Uh, so let's just see 
we have seen the mid parietal socio maturation stages right so we'll just see uh, the ages where these stages are noted okay the stage a is noted in early childhood period okay from 5 to almost 11 years so in stage a we have seen a proper suture right okay then stage b stage b is uh, present up to mainly up to 13 years of age stage c mainly from 11 to 18 years of age so no child from 5 to almost 11 years of age had fusion of the mid palatal suture so fusion of mid palatal suture is very few very minimal during 5 to 11 years of age from 11 to almost 14 years of age few girls have fusion in the mid palatal suture uh, in the form of stage d or stage e okay but boys it is very rare okay especially in 11 to 14 years of age then for, for uh, uh, subjects between like uh, 14 to 18 years of age majority of girls have fusion of the mid palatal suture in the palatine stage that is stage d or stage e very few boys are in the stage d that is girls mature early right so that's why the suture in the girls matures early and gets fused okay early that is during 11 to 14 years only okay but most of the boys at uh, matures later stages of life so even um, up to 18 years of age the boys uh, suture is not matured enough so that allows us to perform maxillary expansion right if the suture is fused we can't expand it further but if the suture is not fused we can expand it further so on an average both girls and boys can achieve rapid maxillary expansion up to the age of 14 years as an upper limit okay so coming back to our uh, question so the mid palatal suture will be open at which of the following stages of expansion okay so as you know up to an average 14 years of age is required for the suture to get mature and fuse completely so from this we can arrive to the answer as option b 13 year old patient okay so only this uh, fellow can be corrected like if he is having skeletal anomaly the it he can be corrected through maxillary expansion okay so if you like our video do subscribe to our youtube channel you can also follow us on our instagram handles at dokshala for dental content and at dokshala medical for medical content you can also follow us on telegram thank you